stress. Everybody deals with it, but what if we took that stress and forced it in a wrong and indirect manner onto a child? And how could that change their DNA? Find out right now on the Science Fair. E equals MC squared. That is the engine that lights up the stars. Energy turns into mass. E equals MC squared. That is the secret of the stars. That is the secret of the stars. Now listen carefully. Hello everybody and welcome to the Science Fair. I'm your host Evan Showcat. Today we are talking about stress. Urgh. This is my first in the trilogy of stress. Today we're going to talk about children and how stress affects their DNA. We will then talk about teens. And then lastly we will talk about how stress affects adults' hearts and how bacteria from the stress is causing heart attacks. Stress is a killer. Literally. It's killing people, just like a lot of things. But stress is something we deal with every day. We get caught at a red light or stuck behind the slow person. You know who I'm talking about. It's not always the old person. Sometimes there's some jackass driving slow. But there's a lot of things that can cause stress. Now, scientists at Tulane University uh, School of Medicine have been investigating a situation where stress on children is causing changes in DNA. So I drew up a board here of some of the major stressors on children. And I highlighted and underlined some of the ones that I believe are the official worst. And top of the list is school. And that includes changing schools. Kids who change schools are obviously very stressed out, having to adapt to a uh, new environment and uh, adapting to new peers. But school nowadays puts pressure on kids through uh, national testing and, and standards. Uh, and putting kids through these standards, I believe, is not uh, not their way to teach people. Negative thoughts, usually about themselves. Changes in their bodies, you know, uh, I'm talking about children probably till about 13 years of age, 12, 13 years of age. So right when their uh, body is about to start changing. Problems with friends and peers. I'm not just talking about drama or fun bullying. I'm talking about actual really bad serious mental bullying unsafe living environments okay. you don't want to stick a child in the middle of Africa and tell him that he's gonna live a, a happy and generally good life parents separate pretty traumatic event illness or problems in the family uh, if a child witnesses uh, whether it's cancer or something very very serious uh, problems in the family could also relate to a parent separating uh, too many activities or high expectations. Something that parents do a lot nowadays. Everybody knows that parent, that mom or dad, usually the mom. Oh, my kid does this, this, and this. My child is the best. In reality, you're the one doing all their homework, not teaching them any life lessons, giving them everything that they please and wish for, and every time they cry, you hand them a candy bar. That is not the way to raise your child. I know you shouldn't step into other people's lives and tell people how to live them, but I think people need to start standing up and teaching people how they should parent. Last on the list is his family financial problems. Obviously, that could be an issue. Somebody who's having uh, financial issues and can't so much support a family as well as somebody else uh, can be an issue. I would say that relates more to parent and child age. We have a lot of parents who are 16, 18 years old, and financially that is not a an age to be trying to support or start a family. Not saying that all parents at 18, 19, 16 years old are bad parents. I did not say they are bad parents. I said it is a bad economical position to put yourself in unless you somehow are in med school at age 16. These stressors are a huge part in how children's DNA are changing for the worse. Scientists at Tulane University School of Medicine have been doing these studies on children's DNA and the traumatic events they have been through. Focusing on, you know, economic status. Putting them in different controlled environments. So economic statuses, uh, different environments, so on, so forth, etc. 
Now, scientists at Tulane University School of Medicine have realized that kids who have been exposed to violence or traumatic events, parents separating, somebody gets ill, all those things that I had on the board, uh, when this happens during childhood, it can leave marks on stretches of DNA called telomeres. What the hell are telomeres? For those of you who don't know, telomeres are repetitive sequences of uh, DNA, and they're found at the end of chromosomes, and they act as protective caps. Now, this prevents your chromosomes from sticking together and, and degrading and falling out of place. Now, the chromosomes that I'm speaking of are the, your typical double helixes. You don't know what a double helix is? Let me show you with some pictures. I may not be the best artist, but here's your typical double helix, containing all your DNA and splitting every time a new cell forms. This splits and carries over all your information. These double helixes are held inside of a chromosome, which is basically a giant X with these caps on top, which are your blue spots or bluish whitish spots at the top of the X. Each one of those are your telomeres. They hold in all these double helixes inside of here. They hold them in and they, they keep them from sticking to other big X's and from leaking out everywhere. How can this be a problem? Telomeres, just like those double helixes, uh, split and divide. But the difference is every time a cell divides, your telomeres get shorter and shorter until a certain point. They're not going to completely disappear, but every time that they split, they do get shorter and shorter, and eventually they stop. So obviously the longer telomere you have, the more cells are dividing, and the better it is for you. Telomere length has been linked to a number of diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and mental illness. This is very significant in children. Children who have witnessed traumatic events. Children who have undergone stress, lots of stress, too much stress. Stressors such as witnessing a family member get hurt or, yeah, a family member getting hurt is creating an environment that affected DNA within cells of children. Something like watching your mom fall down a flight of stairs and bang her head is so traumatic to a child that it can affect uh, DNA. What happened is, is, through the study, they found that the greater number of stressful events in a child's life, uh, excuse me, shortened their telomeres. Yes, shortened their telomeres. So, the greater number of events, that stressful events as a child that you have, the shorter your telomeres are, and the shorter your telomeres are, you know, the less that divides, and the less that divides, the more you are likely to get heart disease and, and diabetes and cancer and mental illness. Big focus on mental illness. In the upcoming events into your teenage years, how stress affects adolescence is mentally insane. It is crazy what happens in the human mind, but there's ways to prevent bad things from happening to people that we love or care about. If your grandmother got sick when you were younger, and your parents didn't tell you why, it was probably to help you. Find out next time how stress is affecting teens all throughout the U.S. and how the stress in adolescence is higher than in adults. How does this affect their schoolwork, their sleep schedule, their eating schedule? How, how has it affected suicide rates? How do they find someone who they can trust to talk to? Find out next time on the Science Fair. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. It's a very serious subject on stress. Uh, in my belief, it is uh, a very serious issue. It's uh, one of the things that leads to the number one killers in the United States, such as heart attack and stroke. And I wanted to start from a child's point of view up through life until the heart attack. So keep watching this trilogy and do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Leave comments, let me know what you think and uh, hope you guys watch the next one. Thank you.